What's up guys? Today we are going to see how we can turn a sphere into a glass where you can pour some water uh, to this out. Yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> so this is what we are going to do with this tutorial. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so now we are in Unity and what we are going to do first is to create a new shader create shader PBR graph and we are going to call this glass of oh with double s of water we're going to double click it and it axis it I'm going to maximize it so we have a better view of what we are doing and once we are in here uh, what we're going to do is play with this vertex position because we're going to change the each position of each vertex in this mesh. So first of all, uh, what I want to do is to make a cylinder. So in order to do that, uh, what I am going to do first is to add a position node, which gives us the position of each vertex. Vertex, sorry. We're going to set this up to object, and once it's in object. I just want to change the y values of each vertex. So we are going to use a split node in order to achieve that. With this split node, what we are going to do first is uh, add a comparison node and we are going to plug this into the comparison node and we are going to tell it what to do if it's greater than 0 and if it's not greater than 0. And the result of this is going to be reflected in this branch node. Great. Now what I want to do is that the, vertex, the vertices that are greater than 0 are going to have a value of 1 on the y-axis and a value of minus 1 on the y-axis, the, the ones that are not greater than 0. And now, in order to input this into the vertex position, we need a vector 3 because we want to preserve the other x and z coordinates and we are going to input the x-axis, the z-axis and the branch node for the y-axis and now once we plug this into the vertex position node we should have a cylinder cool, we have a cylinder the shading is a little bit weird as the faces are being shaded uh, in the way that this is a sphere I am going to change this uh, from the surface from opaque to transparent and once I have the surface set as transparent I am going to change the alpha value to something like 0.2 so it's a little bit transparent and the smoothness to 1 Great. now that we have a cylinder we have to check uh, which vertices are inside this radius of this cylinder so we have to check uh, the length that goes from the center up to the edge. In order to do that, we're going to use a length node. And with this length node, what we're going to input is a vector2. Uh, once we have this vector2, what we're going to do is input the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate. Uh, this is As this is going to give us the length, from the center to the edge and we are going to input this into the length node and once we have that we want to compare this length we want to tell it that if it's not greater than one value we want to lower these vertices we want to bring them down so we are going to use a comparison node comparison yep and we want to tell it that if it's greater than 0.2 why 0.2? well mainly because these vertices from the center to the edge go from 0 to 0.5 great and once we are here uh, we just want to play with the vertices that are up here and not down here that's why the result that this is going to give us it's going to be 
in the branch node of the comparison when we made it a cylinder. So we're going to make some room for this. Uh, this one, this one's to be here. By the way, if you want to select different nodes uh, at the same time, you can left click it and hold on Control and click on each of them so that you can select multiple of them. Great. Uh, once we are here, now that we have this comparison node, we need another branch node branch node to tell uh, the shader what it should do with the vertices that are inside the circle. So I want if it's greater than zero, I want to I want them to be one. And if they are not, I want them to be minus 0.5, meaning that they are going to go down minus 0.5. So let's see how it looks. I'm going to input this into the true value. Baby load. Baby load. Okay, so we got something weird. I guess it's because it's the opposite. Yeah, it was the opposite, sorry. So we want to change this for the vertices that are inside the circle, they have to go down, and the ones that are outside the circle, they have to go, they have to stay in the same position. Great. Right. Now, uh, I think that the hole is a little bit small, so I am going to increase this to something like 0.3. Yeah, and maybe I'm going to make it deeper. So let's go, uh, yeah, 3.35, 3.4, 4. yeah, that's what I am looking for. And now that looks like a glass of water. Great! Of course, it's not full of water. <laughs> okay, so now, uh, how did I achieve the effect of making this turn from sphere to a uh, glass? What I did is to use a lerp node, which is going to lerp <coughs> from the original position that the vertex had to the glass position. <laughs> That's how I am going to call this that they have. And now, uh, you can use a vector1 node to control the position of each of the vertices to go from a sphere to a glass. And as you can see, if we turn this a little bit up, oh, sorry, I forgot to input this into the position now, <laughs> into the vertex position, sorry. And now, if it's zero, it is going to be a sphere, but if it's one, it is going to be a glass. And in between, it's going to be a kind of weird transition from sphere to glass. Great. Now what I want to do with this is uh, convert to property. Uh, we are going to call this glass factor. Great. I am going to save the shader, minimize this. I'm going to first of all create a new material out of this shader. Material, create, material, glass of water. Great. We're going to change this to the new shader that we have created, glass of water. We're going to go into our scene. And once in here, we're going to add a sphere. Through the object, where are you? Sphere, great. And I'm going to reset its position. Ah, uh, yeah, there looks okay. Now I am going to apply this material. And now, with the glass factor, oh, before I do that, uh, I will go back to the shader and I am going to change this property, the mode from default to a slider, to go from one, from zero to one. So we have a slider. Yeah, <laughs> that is what I was looking for. And now, uh, as you can see, I am in a glass of water material, and if I go to zero, it becomes a sphere, and if I go up to one, it goes up straight into a glass. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and if you liked it, please share it, and subscribe, and that's it for today. See ya!